Congratulations, you made it this far. However, the difficulty is going to exponentially grow. These next steps should be taken with some precautions and preparations should you want to continue in your level bracket. Otherwise, I would suggest sticking to the previous video if you want to help trivialize these next areas. Before, you only had to worry about your hunger, health, armor, power, and mobs. Now you have a new mechanic to watch out for. Weather. Weather is very brutal, and it goes from 0 to 100 real quick. Luckily you have me, and Hogan. Hogan sells emergency, warmth fires, which will be your saving grace for your next big area, Kerr Mountains. Though if you're very cheap like me, and don't want to spend a dime to stay warm, I got some news for you, this guy doesn't use any fires whatsoever, hooray. Hopefully you've trained your goblinies, because I told you before, it's needed. First, I would make a death run to Kerr Tower. Once inside, you're now free from the weather, although leveling here is very mediocre, what you're actually here for is Gladger. Gladger will teach you phrenology, which is mandatory for psychology and mentalism. He will also sell a skull extractor, which is a very useful harvesting tool, and some other knickknacks, namely craniometers, which are needed to level up phrenology. Next I would run outside and suicide in order to spawn back at the Eltibiel portal. From there, you are going to make a run to Ilmery. There is two reasons for this, to reset your cold meter, and to learn one of the most important skills in the game, transmutation, which is taught by Makara. If you went out of your way to earn favor, and learn these skills, the next step would be to head to the northwestern outpost, back in Kerr Mountains. Make sure to bring some amethysts with you, because the teleportation circle there will save you some tough, long walks back. Now you may be asking, how do I get there? Well, this is going to be another long, hard, walk. I would follow this line here, and avoid all encounters if possible, and definitely be sure to avoid orc camps. Now for another skill to learn. This one being crucial for any animal mains. Survival instincts, this is another support skill like first aid and armor patching, but for animals. Returning to what you're here for, the next decent area for leveling is the wolf cave, good for loot, skinning, and your new phrenology skill, although there tends to be mob tag competition. But that's not all, you can also learn the star sub skill hoplology, it's possible to sneak past Timothy Lerriman and read the book behind him. Your last option is going to Sunvale, it's no longer as good as it used to be for leveling, but there should be little competition here, not to mention you can get started on favor with the NPCs here, and learn Druid, one of the best classes in the game, in my opinion. Once again there isn't many lootable chests at this level, that are easily accessible by people leveling for the first time. So here's another screenshot of chests for the wolf cave, but you'll most likely only be able to loot the very first two, without any help.